to basics during that time as opposed to having to worry about healing up or resting up. It's too early in the season. Get back to the basics, get his game going again. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They'll go again to Jones. And he'll get a couple up to the 29. This defense for the Vikings, they were quite formidable in the win over Philly a week ago. And how'd you like to be the quarterback reviewing the game tape from last week and seeing this defense on the spot? on almost every snap. If the ball was in the air, they took it away. If the ball was popped free, they picked it up. Five takeaways in last week's game. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. On now is the Packers punter. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. punt of 38 yards officially and the Vikings will take over here first and 10. They'll start on the ground it's Derrick Henry and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive first down. Inside handoff, Henry. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. The Vikings at 500, three and three through the season's first six weeks. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Now these two teams, you might recall, met up back in September in week three. And it was the visitors getting the win there, so they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They've worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance here for running, passing, doing what they want on offense. 17 more yards. They had 17 on the previous snap as well. From the 10, first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Henry. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the six. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. They'll give Henry another shot. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Henry is in. Touchdown, Minnesota. So both sides of the football contributing here early. Their defense forces the punt, and then the offense takes it down the field and punches it in on the short touchdown run. And Brandon, that's good complimentary football, and that's what they're going to need if they want to get out of here victorious. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And they were winners the last time they took the field, which was two weeks ago. They had the open week last week, so this is a squad that should be really refreshed and ready to roll. I would agree because when you get that open week after a victory, it does wonders for everyone. Obviously, your body get a chance to heal up, but your mind as well. You feel good about winning, so now you can get away from it for a few days, put down the playbook, you know, turn off the film, 
Just be you. Enjoy that time away. And then you Will Fuller, nobody there to stop him. Touchdown, Packers. Will Fuller, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Packers strike quickly here to tie up the ball game. Lutz good on the extra point, and they take the lead here at 7-6. to six. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. And able to get this out to the 25. We spotlight Derrick Henry now. And you see his numbers from a week ago. He was up over 100 yards then, and he's already hit pay dirt here once in this one. We always talk about quarterbacks and receivers getting into rhythm, right? Really feeling good, finding each other downfield. I think running backs operate the same way. They can hit a good rhythm and a good stride, and he's carrying it over from last week. Looking to throw again on second down. Wilkins on the move to his left. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. Henry up the middle. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. 46 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. That's how you pick up a first down. You know where the sticks are. You know where the first down marker is, and you find a way to get there. That's called having vision. He had a lot of vision last week, didn't he? NFC Offensive Player of the Week, he was dominant. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the gun, it's Wilkins. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Here's Wilkins. That's complete to smith said. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 41-yard line. A third down gain of 19. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. They run for the first time with Ty Chandler. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Wilkins sliding out of the pocket. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain. So when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue, just make sure you feed me the football? And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. And the Vikings are going to be set up with a first and goal as good running gets him down to about the four-yard line. First down carry for Henry. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Justin Jefferson from three yards out. And the Vikings have regained the lead. 
Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. Kevin O'Connell choosing to leave his guys out there. and They'll go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And this is going to be intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. But as most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. And remember, if you pick it off, you got a chance to take it all the way back and get two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there, but that's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And they are trying to create some separation within the division. And look, CD, I know that this is still the first half of the season, but this is a big matchup no matter where it falls because these are the top two teams right now in that division. And if you can build a bit of a cushion as you head towards the second part of the season, that allows you to survive the expected injuries, potential upset losses, all of those things, and still be in good shape. Second down, it's Jones. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Packer first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And he's got it across the midfield stripe and into Viking territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Again, it's Jones. Oh, he shifts past him. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. To throw his rush. Pulled in by Avon. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. His throw incomplete. You know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Back to throw, Rush. And it's intercepted. Andrew Booth picks it off. And the Vikings are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Shotgun snap for Wilkins. He'll find smith said complete. And they're going to get this up to midfield. A shotgun handoff to Henry. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. 25 on second down. Wilkins, middle of the field to Jefferson. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Wilkins steps away. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield.